Okay, I said I wasn't going to show the um, routing of the wire, uh, but I take that back. I'm going to show you a little bit because it's kind of interesting when you load the 295s. Got this bar set up as high as it'll go, and the way I normally load them is I start from the processor side and work my way out. There's one. It's the EVGA. It's one of the MSIs. Number two. Now, as, as you probably have noticed, they have uh, electronic components exposed on the back. But it's really really important to be careful loading these things. Um, that's why I used that 260 earlier, the GTX 260 is a physical model because these things are, well, as you know, they're expensive and, uh, and they're somewhat fragile because they're not backed. And yes, I know I could buy the backs, but that's 20 bucks a pop for the video cards. And at the moment I have 23 video cards, so just not worth $500 to me to uh, to put the backs on them. They stay cool enough without them and, uh, <clears throat> and they really don't seem to require them. But I do have to be a little bit careful. When I lower this bar uh, and, and push down on the motherboard, I have to be, you know, sort of ginger with that. You don't want to crush the motherboard. But uh, I also try to splay the cards out a little bit, give them a little bit of room between them and let them breathe a little bit and gives them a little little bit of room to pull some air uh, in between the cards instead of everything having to come through the tunnel 